We're going to make a, a pitcher move tonight after the game. Um, Fulty will be designated and we'll activate uh, Chad Sabaka tomorrow. Um, you know, it's tough. Uh, you know, Fulty in this short season, it, it's just like it's just not happening right now. And, and um, we kind of feel a sense of urgency to some extent. And um, hopefully, if, you know, he clears, they don't make a trade, we get him in Gwinnett and try and get him back going again. So. Um, you know, that'll be for whatever the front office does. But in the meantime, we'll, um, Sabak has been traveling with us on the taxi squad. And we'll just activate him tomorrow. Nick, what, when you saw him come out with the lower velocity again today, um, was there any hope it was going to get any better based on what you'd seen last week? Well, I just, you know, he's moving the ball around. And, you know, then it was, it's kind of like, you know, they have a game or, or a, scouting report on him and you know it kind of I think you you come out and then they adjust to you is what happened and I think that's what happened tonight I just hope maybe we could get him through one more inning and you know he got a couple of ground ball double plays and and um you know he's out there giving it all I mean it's not like he was getting after it it's just not happening for whatever reason and and um you know because faulty has been big for us the last couple of years and pitched some big games and playoffs and um, you know, been good for us down the stretch and and whatnot, but it's just like we're not in a position right now um, in this shortened season to to wait for something to happen. What's uh, uh, Brian? What's your theory if you have one on the velocity drop? What do you think? I don't know. I mean, because he says he feels good, and and um, you know, I I, I I really, I honestly don't have unless there's. I, I, I don't, you know, I don't think it's anything health. I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know. You know, I, uh, I don't. I really don't have a, an answer for you. Really, is this the, the kind uh, of move that you probably wouldn't have made at this point in a 162 game season? Um, I, I, I really, I don't know. I don't know if I can answer that either. I mean, it's. Obviously, I think because of the situation and, you know, what well, we got 56 games left and, and um, uh, it just kind of revs it up or, you know, makes it you know, hard to um, wait for somebody to get something going. So, uh, I, I don't know. So did you ever see him throw in spring training uh, like he did last year? Was a velo always down around? 90. Uh, you know, I, I don't even remember in yeah. spring training. I know there, I, I don't remember us being real concerned in spring training. Um, I don't even remember how many, how many outings he had, but I don't remember that being a topic of conversation there. He looks physically slender this year. He's, yeah. I mean, he's, he uh, has lost weight, it looks like, and um, maybe that has something to do with it. Still, what, if you had to, I know it's probably too early, but if you had to, Guess who will you send to the mound five days from now? I, I don't know. You know what? I think Mark probably just we'll see how we get how we get there. Um, you know, there's no days off, so you know it's going to kind of be all hands on deck getting to that spot. We'll just you know it, it, it could be one of a couple of two or three guys. It could be an opener. It could be um, any any different scenarios. Like you said, like I said, just depending on how we get there. And. If you're thinking long term, is it too early to think about Davidson or Ian Anderson? Could they fit in there at some point? Um, yeah, they're in our, you know, they're in the the 60 man pool, so um, they're all those guys are definitely in play. That's for sure. Uh, what was Fulte's reaction when uh, when told? Um, well, I, I, Perry told him in there, you know, before the game was over, and and um, I think he was he was hurt. We're, you know, it's not a good an easy thing to, to tell a guy that, especially somebody you've had for a long time that, that's worked hard. He's, he's been a big part of this organization and, and, um, you know, so it's, it's, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure he was hurt. It was, I assume it wasn't just based on tonight's performance. It was just kind of building up to this. You just need to see him. One yeah. More time. It was kind of as, as it, as he would progress, you'd make yeah, it. I mean, after the last, you know, the couple outings and, and, um, the early camp and, and, um, we wanted to give it a go here and, and that looked like it, you know, it didn't, it was the same, you know, we didn't see enough, uh, enough increase in things and, and, um, in the velocity. I mean, it's, that's what his, 
that's who he's been is, is you know, the sits, but he's been a stuff guy for the entire time that we've had him and, and the stuff it isn't, hasn't been there. So, um, you know, like I say, it's, it's, I don't know how the situation works. I mean, there could be a trade. Something happens. He gets designated. He clears. He goes to Gwinnett or the alternate site and, and tries to get himself going. I don't know. Lee, 